we're a unique setting, the College of Charleston. We're almost entirely an urban campus, a lot of impervious surface, bricks and pavement of all sorts and roofs, and so we're trying to slow down the rain that comes um, and reduce that stormwater runoff and, and make uh, a solution of a problem, basically. The College of Charleston, Clemson University, and the uh, Carolina Clear program, which is who I work for, are partners in this effort, and it's, it's a really nice project to, that it's gonna be able to demonstrate to the public uh, not only the advantages of har harvesting rain, and what better place to do it than the College of Charleston, where all the graduates walk over the cistern. We want to have, use this 1,100 gallon tank to capture the runoff water from the roof of a uh, political science building here, and to basically kind of save that for a dry day. For this particular roof, we'll, we'll be able to capture about a two inch rainfall. So that captures almost the majority of rainfall events. We definitely have rainfall events that are greater than two inches, but both downspouts will capture the vast majority of the rainfalls. So then once we get the water in the system, uh, we want to be able to redistribute it throughout the landscape. So in this particular instance, we're using this water as non-potable water to irrigate this, this zone here, which is going to have a variety of adapted and, and native plants. The overflow for this particular system is going to be diverted to what we call a rain garden. As it fills up, uh, we'll go into the rain garden, which is basically just a little landscape depression with a lot of uh, very sandy soils that will be able to receive and infiltrate a lot of that water. This is just a part piece of the pie in many ways. I mean, this isn't going to solve all the flooding issues in Charleston, but it's one of a, a whole suite of best management practices that we can do that will help to alleviate some of the pressure on our stormwater system.